Hello everyone. Hello. Welcome to Piccadilly Stampin'. How's everybody doing? <laughs> it's getting colder here. It is. Um, let's see if I've gone live yet. Does it show not me? Yet. Hmm. Can anyone see me? It hasn't showed me live. But it looks like Oh, wait a second. What happened? I don't know. It's not showing me live anywhere, but then on here it says there's three people in here. So oh, if I'm not live, why is there three people in there? I don't know. But it's not showing me. <clears throat> I'm not understanding that. Can you? Can anyone see me? Can you see anyone? Restart. Oh. Restart. Oh, wait. Here. Here it is. Yeah. So, okay, I see Gene Shoot. I think I got that right. Gene from North Dakota. <laughs> you remembered. Ah, uh, hope uh, you have, don't have a lot of snow because we don't want it. Yeah, don't send us snow, Gene. Um, there. I see France, yes. I see Cynthia from Arizona. Um... So we're getting a few people. I don't know why this won't let me in. It shows me in two places. I'm, is it? I'm going live. I'm live. Is it letting this, you in? Yeah. Tristan Tatum. Hello, Bethy. Okay. Well, Nicole. we're having a few Facebook. Yeah. Things. So I saw Kristen Wenzel right there. Yeah. All right. All the way from Ireland. I see Bill. I see Jean now. There we go. Now I'm starting to see people. Yeah. Judy. Hi, Judy. Well, welcome, everybody. Thanks for coming. For the second week of the new year. Yes. Um, so tonight we're going to do things just a little bit different. I'm going to just start with one card that I forgot to show you last week. I got this. This is from my downline. It's so stinking cute. I just had to show it. I know... Christmas is over, but isn't it adorable? It is. So awesome this was from card. Karen Jones. So let did me Gracie know. help? <laughs> yeah, Karen's got a cat. Did Gracie help? <laughs> All right. Will you set that aside for me? Yeah. Um, Bill, do you want to start with the announcement? Sure. Let's talk about the perks first. Okay. We're gonna do. We're gonna talk about Piccadilly Perks first. So Piccadilly Perks is a program just. For uh, a reward program just for be, being my customer. So this has nothing to do with Stampin' Up! This is my reward program. And basically I'm going to give you a $25 shopping spree for free on, on me, plus um, free shipping and free tax on that just for being my customer. So how you earn that reward is kind of a buy 10, get one free. So there's 10 letters in Piccadilly and every time you earn a letter, with the $35 purchase, I'm going to tell you what letter you have earned. And actually, I think Jean earned some letters recently. So, Did she? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. So, um, Jean from North Dakota. Jean from North Dakota. Yeah. If I say mom, my mom is Jean. <laughs> but if I say Jean shoot, did I say it right, Jean, this time? I think last time I called her shut. I don't remember what I said. So anyway, that's my loyalty program. I had tried it on a trial basis last year. It went very well. Some of you really cashed in quite a bit. Some of you took advantage of, of, of it once in a while, but you save those points and when you get to 10, so if there's no expiration, I'm going to continue it. Thanks, Alan. Alan? I'm sorry. Alan? Alan? <laughs> good Ooh. thing you're good friends with him, huh? Yeah, no kidding. Hey, die cutter here. Oh, yes. Um, also, so we had a little announcement today from uh, the home office that we will be getting a new die cutting machine coming out. Um, I don't know when. They say it's in the future, so that could be a month. That could be six months. So, But they are offering the die cutting plates, and I'm super glad they brought this back because I have a couple of big shots, and um, I needed some new cutting plates very badly. I don't know. I mean, this is going to be something specific for Stampin' Up. I do know about this company, though, is when one thing goes away, they tend to bring back something better. Um, 
than what they had had before. So I'm kind of hoping. I know I had uh, Downline ask me if it would be electric. I have no idea. But just so you know, 150815 pack of cutting plates. Now, of course, every embossing system, whatever you have, if you have, I don't know if a cuddle bug will fit this or not because I think they're a little smaller. We have the you know, it's a little bit bigger than six inch uh, plate that can go through, but um, you may have to do a shim with your own die cutting machine, but we do have them available. So there we go. Yeah. What's next? Oh, paper pumpkin. Ooh, oh, paper pumpkin. So I've kind of been going over this a little bit. Um, paper pumpkin is a subscription order that comes. And actually, if you watch, I got my paper pumpkin a little bit late. Um, the company had set out from last month, they had sent out saying that it was gonna be late. And then I think with the holidays, it really kind of slowed it down. So um, I believe this Sunday I have a video, about a 20 minute video coming out with some alternatives to the kit that we got last month. But moving forward, you have, Bill, until what date? To order paper pumpkin? Tomorrow or Friday. <laughs> yeah, the 10th. The 10th of every month. And actually, Jean, I noticed that you signed up as my newest Paper Pumpkin customer, so thank you so much. I have some news for you that I didn't know when I was sharing about the subscription program. This is a once a month subscription program. What's really nice is you can cancel at any time or you can suspend, which there's sometimes I suspend them. This one is going to contain 10 treat bags and 10 mini cards and envelopes. I did find out that those are three by three. But the other thing that's really kind of fun and interesting about um, paper pumpkin this year. What are you doing, hun? No, it's not. Oh, it stopped. That's okay. Um, is that they are going to be coordinating with some of the things that are in our catalog. And this particular one is going to coordinate. And I'm going to show you because I am now allowed to open up the mini catalog on social media. We have... The mini catalog? This is called the mini catalog, yes. <laughs> And they have this punch pack that goes with the Valentine set, the heart That's and then cute. yeah, and the scalloped heart. Well, mm -hmm. that apparently this will have stamps that match, and you can coordinate with that. So stamps or punches? Stamps that will coordinate with oh. those punches. Oh, good thing okay. you caught me there. Mm -hmm. Thank you. We'll get back to this catalog. So, um, if you are interested in that, I will post a, a link. Um, on my Facebook page, but also in this video in the description box below of how to subscribe to that. It is kind of a lot of fun. Yeah. Oh, and uh, celebrations. Oh, yes. So um, last last week I talked to you about this. There is level one, level two, and then there's a host set, the celebration. So let me explain it. It is sale abrasion. And for sale abrasion, you have a level one. With every $50 purchase that you um, purchase from January 3rd through March 31st, you're going to get a product from this catalog. Now, this catalog, um, and we'll talk about this in a little bit if you don't have a catalog, how you can get them. But this catalog, I can open this up now on social Ooh, media. Wow. I know. It has it yet, so. all sorts of things. The dies, the mm. punch set. This is what I used last can, week on my fun fold. Ooh. I love this meerkat one. Meerkats. I've got a cute thing coming Aww. out. I have this kit. Um, I'm going to be doing a video on this kit here probably next week. The kerchief? Yes. I think it's really cute with that. Mm. Um, it's an all-inclusive kit. They've got some really pretty what is this honeybee pay cards mm -hmm. um honeybee no golden honey specialty designer series paper i got this one coming um this paper punch i've used this and they've got a stamp set too so on level one products would be like this stamp set now if you want the matching punch that is uh, a level two a hundred dollar purchase and the exclusive host set is with a $300 order or, I mean, I did that, by the way. Just <gasps> so <you know. laughs> oh, my. Did you see my uh, post today about living forever? With yeah. <laughs> I think you will. You'll be immortal by buying all this. Yeah. 
Well, um, you get the um, this lady little ladybug stamp set with a three hundred dollar class purchase. Um, I'm pretty open. I don't really do classes so much anymore, but if you wanted to have a book party or a Facebook party, I am open to that. So um, just hit me up on that and you can earn this set for free. So everything in this catalog can be earned for free. Pretty awesome. That's what Celebration is. It's kind of a three month, January 3rd through March 31st. Oh, wow. So if you have any questions, message me in private. What's and next? Some more celebration, probably the group. Yeah. Oh, no, this is joining celebration at this time. So oh. celebration, I want to, my printer's a little jacked up here, so it kind of came out funny. But I want to point out a couple of things. The little trimmer that I've been using, actually, is a Stampin' Up! trimmer. This thing is so stinking sharp. It is so awesome for those little jobs that that you need. If you join my team during celebration, Stampin' Up! is going to give you that little trimmer. They're going to give you a free 6x6 designer series paper of, it won't be every single design in the catalog, in the mini catalog, the new mini catalog, but it'll be a sampling of that and a free stamp set of your choice for $99. So you're going to get this on top of $125 worth of product that you pick. And wow. all, all you're paying is the $99. they are going to pay the shipping, so you'll pay $99 plus tax. So there was 48 sheets of that DSP sampler. That's quite a bit. The mini paper cutter, um, a stamp set of your choice for $99 plus $100. You get $125 worth of product for that $99. So... My team is called the Piccadilly Pearls. Absolutely. I love them dearly. They know that. Um, and we would love to have you join our creative little team. And for Hi, Joy. Hi, Joy. We missed you last week. And if um, any of my pearls are watching, which I know a couple of you are, we do have a team meeting this Monday um, at 7 p.m. So via Facebook this time. Okay. Oh. oh, and the pearls. I already did that. I already did that yep. one. So that's it for, oh, got, uh, what else you got cutting blades. Oh, yes. Um, just a reminder that um, we do have cutting blades for our new trimmer. I want to make sure that you guys know that this little guillotine cutter is called a cutter. And our trimmer that has the, the um, let me grab it out. This one's called a trimmer. So if you're looking for parts for this, this is our paper trimmer. And the cutting blade is a four pack for $12. It is parts number 152391. So for the paper trimmer, you don't ever have to replace blades with the cutter. It is a self um, Sharpening, yes, thank you. Go. <laughs> okay, well, and just want to remind everybody, I can't believe how many people share this thing. Oh, oh yeah, wow. you know, guys, there group, was so group. many new shares this week. I certainly appreciate that. Um, we're not supposed to say that necessarily. We're supposed to say spread the spread love, the love. Yeah. and um, let people know about me. I am um, an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. So if you could even, you know, if you know some crafty pals that may be interested in invite them and just tag them in, mm -hmm. you know, that would be fine. They, they can have the decision to leave or not. So okay. appreciate that. Um, new host code. We're a host code. Your oh, yes, code. my host code. Um, this is only good till when? 20th. The 20th. The 20th of this month. P U U S U U K Z. It still makes me giggle from last week. Yeah. <laughs> Catalogs. Oh, yes, I did want to let you guys know. I had said earlier if 
you need a catalog if you are not a demonstrator, if you don't have a demonstrator, but you would like me to be your demonstrator, I would be more than happy to send you the catalog. So you'll get this catalog. And Gina, I don't even know if you've got a catalog or not. And the celebration catalog. I will send those to you if you need that. Just um, send me an email, Pamela at PiccadillyStampin.com, or you can message me right here on Facebook. Either way, I will get that to you. What else we got? Newsletter. Oh, yes. Um, don't forget, you guys, if you would like to know, like, my specials and Stampin' Up! specials, you can sign up for my monthly newsletter. Um... Sometimes it's more than a month. Sometimes it's not quite on a month. It just depends on what's going on with the company. But you can find that link on my blog or um, you can find it right here on Facebook. There's just down on the left-hand column, there's subscribe to my newsletter. So, okay. Anything else? <laughs> Beth Ann says that's a funny code. It is a funny <laughs> code, Beth Ann. That's all announcements for today. That is it. Okay. Except so off Bob Ross calendar picture. Yes. Well, we'll get to that. Oh. Okay? okay. So look at him. Isn't he good? He's getting his Scooby Snacks. I just want you to know that these are baked and they're whole grain, cinnamon flavored, and they're like, um, like uh, a little cinnamon cracker. Um, graham, cracker. graham cracker. That's it. <laughs> so, okay, you earned them. All You're right. Good. <laughs> so, um, real quick, today's inspiration comes from is Angie on? Have you seen her? I thought so. So um, my downline and my friend Angie gave me this Bob Ross calendar. Now, I have a thing. Has, is Madison on? Yep, Madison's on. Okay, Madison, am I making you jealous? My daughter has a thing for Bob Ross, too. So I used to watch him when I was a kid. He was my first artistic inspiration. Look at some of these pictures. Sometimes it has pictures. Sometimes it has little quotes on it. Anyway, so today's uh, card that we're going to be working on is a fun fold, but it's going to be letting our inner Bob Ross out. Ooh. So Bill's going to get his Bob Ross on. That's right. Um, get them happy trees ready to go on the paper. I'm not going to go through. <laughs> <laughs> yes, a happy little tree. That's happy a good little trees. I'm not going to go through the whole catalog other than to say it's phenomenal. And I struggled with actually using this set. Um, which I'll probably do next week, um, is the Peaceful Poppies. This is going to be probably the hottest sweet in here, if at all possible, especially with celebrations. If you can um, purchase this, $136.50 for the whole thing. It is a two-stamp set, two-die, ribbon, element, sequins, and DSP, 12 by 12 DSP. I would bump it to 150 and get three celebration um, uh, freebies plus your host rewards. Mm -hmm. You're going to get that. So this set is so phenomenal and we'll be working on that next week. But today I wanted to start with my meadow. So let me show you the stamp they set. The stamp. This picture looks like a stamping up stamp set. It does. Actually, yeah. there's one back here, you guys. <laughs> um, Bob Ross stole it. Yeah. <laughs> if you're not... Let's see if I can find that quick. There's one back here that is actually... Look at this. So it oh, has the Angie dies. Too, so. Oh, good. Hi, Ange. Thank you for the inspiration for um, today's card. But it has all of this, like scenery and it I can't wait to get my hands on it to be quite honest but if you guys remember in our holiday catalog we had one called snow front and I think that we had one called beach front now this one's called my meadow and I fell in love with it right away because of this little gazebo my mom has a gazebo behind her house it's cute as can be so we're gonna do a scene with this and it takes a little bit of time so I don't know if if in the camera if they can see oh they can't I have every single block that I own out here tonight to make this card so we're going to be doing some serious stamping I normally try to cater to and this is pretty simple so I don't want to intimidate but I normally try to do like simple to casual stamping and I would say this still fits in the casual stamping because I didn't go too crazy it's just a lot of stamping 
<sighs> I feel like I'm out of breath now. Oh, okay. Are there any now, questions from anyone? Cute set. Um, oh, Nicola wants to know who Bob Ross is. Oh, she doesn't know who Bob Probably Ross not. is? You're going to have to Google that. <laughs> <laughs> um, he will put you to sleep if you watch him for too long. <laughs> I will say that. Um, all right, so this is the My Meadow stamp set. And we do not have every stamp in this stamp set. I'm trying to see if it says how many come in it. And I don't know where to find that, if it's even on here. But there's quite a few, as you can see. So let's get going, because this card actually takes a little bit. Let me get my project. You set that over there in the... Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, you're, you're on it. So let's start this a little bit different. I'm going to move some of this stuff out of the way. So we've got two pieces of cardstock here. Now our card base is going to be a regular five and a half by eight and a half. But we're going to start with the Whisper White, and I usually never do that, you guys. We're going to start with the Whisper White this time. And this one is cut at, oh, here it is, five and three quarters by one and a, or by eight and a half. That's wrong. That should be eight and a quarter. Eight and a quarter. Sorry. So it's a little bit shorter this way and a little bit shorter this way. And we're going to go ahead and make fold this just like a card base. As you notice, I've got my um, my stamping pad down. What is this called? Grid grid paper. Mm -hmm. Because we're going to get messy and inky. How many people like to get messy and inky? Okay, so normally a card opens this way. We're going to do it the other way. We're going to turn this up. This is on purpose. And we're going to turn this upside down and we're going to start stamping on the back. So everybody has their own way of doing it. I'm going to show you my way. I'm going to start with, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different colors. We're going to start. That card? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I was ambitious. You were. So, well, I'm going to create a serene scene. So, we're going to start with the little bridge that comes on that. And we're going to be doing a lot of stamping off. So, I needed a lot of area to stamp off. Am I in camera? Uh, you are. I'm just trying to get the... Is my computer dead? No. You can just hit that and it should take you back. So, I'm going to ink it up in the soft suede stamp it off and then hmm, I think I'll put this a happy little bridge lives right there <laughs> that's cool <laughs> okay I'm going to be coming back to that and I'm going to pull out coastal cabana now coastal cabana is in the bright family and I'm going to be using it two ways, but we're going to start off with stamping. So there's a couple little, where did that stamp set go? Can you hand it back to me? You have it. I do? I have it. Gotcha. Gotcha. So there's a couple little of these, like, watercolored images. They're, they're made to look that way. And I'm going to stop really quick and just kind of show you how this whole stamp set's really kind of like that. And then... This is all left to interpret interpretation, so this is going to be very Bob Ross-ish. And I'm going to take that little swirly one, because this fits very well in my up under the bridge, because I got water under the bridge. Water under the bridge? Yes. Okay. No trolls. No trolls? I don't know. Are you living there? I don't know. <laughs> And then there's this little piece that looks like... The rest of the creek. Yeah, like water flow. It looks like a little tornado, kind of. But I'm going to stamp that off. And I'm just going to kind of overlay, kind of not. But I'm going to turn it around because I'm making my little scene here. And... Oh, they notice that you've creased to the right. Yes, I did. Yep, mm-hmm. Um, where does this water come from under the bridge? So I'm assuming that it's going to come from, stamp it off. Above it. Now I'm going to overlap over the bridge 
because the area in between that you can see through the bridge, I want that to be the water showing that way. So I just kind of made a little stream, okay? Kind of cool. Thank you. We're going to put this aside because we're going to need it, but I'm so scared I'm going to stick my finger in it. I'm going to shut it. That one can go away for now. And then I'm going to pull out... This is garden green. And there's the two biggest pieces on the garden green. And I don't know. I'm going to use them as land. But I'm going to stamp off again. So ink it up. That's just too far away from me. Am I still in? You're in picture. Okay. Looking pretty good. Okay. So we'll do this. So I'm going to stamp it off because I want a lighter effect. And I'll just stamp it on there. And I'm going to go back with this bigger piece. Stamp it off again. And I'm going to kind of layer in between here. Then I've got a little bit of area down here at the bottom. I'm going to stamp it off and I'm just kind of going to go like that on the edge. So I needed a big area to kind of do some stamping off. I'm going to come back and I'm just going to stamp it off again. And this one, maybe go I'll go off the edge. Yeah, I'm going to go off the edge. Cool. And I'm gonna go this way. Okay, come back in. I'm gonna turn these. See how I'm kind of coming up and around that water? Any questions or any comments or anything? Well, I thought I answered it about the crease to the left or right. Yeah. We were asking, and they were saying, hopefully Bill sees this. I saw it. We answered it. I thought, yeah. Did it, I wonder if I broke up. Just yeah. so you guys know, it's a different size card base, and I am doing it on the opposite side, and I'm aware of it. And I, didn't, I don't have a completed card to show you what it's going to look like, but trust me. Just trust me. Yeah. Trust. <laughs> trust her. Was that joy? No, it was... Um, Mom, trust me. <laughs> so here I am. I'm going to stop for a minute. See, I'm creating my scene. I'm building it up. I'm going to come in with the terracotta tile. And terracotta tile is a little bit darker than like our calypso coral. Calypso coral is a little brighter, I would say. But this is too dark for what I want. But I want to use this as the, the um, gazebo. So I'm going to... Let's see, we'll have a happy little gazebo, gazebo kind of live there. Right it's kind of floating. I'm going to land it. I'm going to land, land it. <laughs> Trust me. Nope. nope, not yet. If I was, I'd hand it to that's you. That's right. Okay, so then there's another little piece here that's just kind of, I, I'm going to call it land. And I'm going to come in and I'm going to go right over what I just went. And we're going to fill in a little bit in here. They're loving the way the scene is building. Developing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to, here, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this. I don't want this in the water, but I kind of want to fill in this spot. Oh, sweet. Oh, there you go. Way to be creative. Did you guys catch that? And we're going to kind of fill in down here. I don't need it completely. I want some white space because okay. we're going to be adding some more stuff. But let's see, since I got that one that way, let's turn this. Jean from North Dakota is asking, shall we trust her? Yes, you guys should trust her. This thing's turning <laughs> out pretty cool. Should we trust her? Mm. Okay. I didn't like how that, I turned it and then I didn't like it. So we're going to go like that. I'm almost done, honestly. Okay, like that. 
So I'm starting the scene and I've got it kind of landed now. Are you happy there, Bill? Mm -hmm. We're still gonna be using this and we're gonna be using this, Bill, so don't take them away from me. Mm -hmm. However, if you would like to make yourself useful, you could clean them for me. Okay. All three of those, okay? Hi, ladies. <laughs> I'm going to bring back in the um, soft suede. Maybe I should have that facing me and then I wouldn't have those issues. I'm going to do full. I stamped off on the, on the um, bridge, kind of half. I'm going to do full strength. And I just want you to see that's what that looks like. So it's quite a bit darker. And I'm going to come around this gazebo. And we're going to put some trees around here. And no, I haven't even used it yet. But this one is. You can clean that. <laughs> can I go over here? It can, it can go over there, yeah. You can clean all of them if you wanted to. Okay, I'll do the dishes. <laughs> That's right. Look at that. So Bill said he cleaned these. Let's see. Give me that. <laughs> I got it. Oh, I should have had you. There we go. Okay, ladies, someone back me up. When it comes to cleaning, let a woman do it. He did good. All right, I'm going to take these big images again. I'm going to pull back the Coastal Cabana. And we're going to do the longest one first here. Stamp it off right over that so that it goes in for the sky of on the gazebo. Why am I having trouble with words tonight? Okay, so we're going to fill this in. I'm going to turn this. Going right over the images. Okay, then I'm going to take that bigger not longer, but wider image. And I'm gonna do this full strength, and I'm gonna come in here and make like, what is it, Bill? A happy cloud. A happy little cloud, right? That's right. Okay, so stamp off on this. So you can have some white in that area, and I think I might just do full strength right here, and we're gonna have remnants of one going there. Yeah. Okay. There we go. For now. For now. For now. Yeah. I may do a little, in fact, I might just do that right now. I want to do a little stamping off and I'm going to come back in there because I think that needed a little more love. And then. We'll put the Coastal Cabana away. You guys still with me or are you asleep? Yeah. No, they're not. They're, they're not? Happy Cloud. Love the Happy Cloud. <laughs> I love this group. Okay, you guys are so wonderful. I just want oh, you to know. and Bethann, that is not a new chamois. That's just the backside of one. That is. It is just the <laughs> backside. Okay, so I've got some crumb cake. And you can stamp off if you want a lighter effect or you can just do full strength. Whoops, I went to stamp off to show you the difference. And I think on the crumb cake, it's just a hair lighter. I'm going to do a very quick light stamp off so I get a little variation. And I'm going to go all around the... The happy trees? Well, actually, I'm kind of going around the... Oh. Um, the creek. Is that... Now, or some creek. people say creek, and some people say creek. And where are you from in the country? I'm, I'm a creek. What's what's the consensus, you guys? Crick or creek? Crick or creek. A crick is what you get in your back, right? Or in your neck? Yeah. So I'm going to go all around here because around um, streams and stuff, there's dirt clods, there's rocks sometimes. That's right. And I want a little variation. Frogs. 
there's frogs yeah well these are kind of my rock dirt clods and it's just a little no image problem. yeah you can take that got a creek well, maybe Kathy. a creek huh uh-huh isn't that funny? Some people, well, Kathy, is that Kathy Appleby? No, Kathy oh. uh, Walton in Colorado. Oh, oh, well, that surprises me. Mom's from creek. Colorado. No creek, no crick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we've got that. Let's take our garden green again. And we're going to go in with. There is this image, and it looks, there's two images. One looks kind of like long grass, or also I think it's for flowers. Oh, there's cricks. There's cricks and cricks. Cricks and creeks. It's a happy little creaky crick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then there's this grass image. I'm going to start off with the, with the bigger one, because this is kind of like tall grass, right? So around this gazebo and around this water, we're going to add some of this kind of taller stuff let's see maybe right there let's start with that then let's come back in with this the smaller grass and let's add a little more detail here and I want some there and of course we're gonna have to have some up by our trees right yeah that way we can get more of kind of that land coming in to it this is where it gets fun. Once you lay down the groundwork, this is where it gets fun, at least in my opinion. So make it up as you go. Yeah, it's your card. Right. So I'm going to leave that open and I'm going to leave those there. Don't you touch them. And I'm going to pull out. This is another little, it's closer together little dots. And I think I'm going to use the mossy meadow this time and I'm gonna to come together and we're gonna make this is supposed to be a springtime so we're gonna go in here and we're gonna add some leaves, leaves to the trees to our now happy little happy. trees are they happy now for they're you they're happier now and so we can go down I'm using full strength on this it's fabulous who said that Nicole uh, <laughs> So, and maybe some of them kind of come this way. You don't know how branches are going to go out. What do you guys think so far? We got they some, love it. They love some it. trees going on there that you can clean if you want. Oh, did I just get your hand gunky? You did. Well, that. you can go and tell everyone that you were doing the stamping. I got stamping. <laughs> okay, so we're going to put... There's our happy trees. So there's our happy little trees. We're not done. There's I told you guys, there's a lot to this. This is petal pink, and we're gonna go in with what I'm gonna assume is a little flower pattern. I don't know, it's all impressionism, right? So it doesn't matter what <laughs> I think. Angie's saying this is such a Bob Ross card. Isn't it, Angie? This is so inspired by that little, I was looking at that and I thought, I got this on center stage and I was so excited because um, actually my other cousin, um, Laura, is Laura on here? Mm -hmm. Okay, Laura got me going on the That's snow it. front. Yeah, so we're just going to add a few flowers down here, and I'm kind of filling in some of the space. And I'm going to leave the petal pink open for a minute. This is Mary Merlot, and I know everyone's like, what? But it goes with this. However, you need you to stamp. That stamp. I didn't, because this ink is lighter than this ink. And so you can go from light to dark, but you can't go dark. To, otherwise, I'd end up with that in, in, yeah. in there. So Mary, Mary Merlot, but I'm going to stamp it off so it's not quite so bold. And we're going to come back in here and maybe some live there. And oh, of course, we've got to have some there and some there. And I like this, so they're just going to live there and maybe right here around the water and over here and half on and half off down there. Do you guys see this uh, taken form? Yeah, they weren't. So, um, Judy Stump said that she wasn't going to buy this, but now she might. Oh. <laughs> this is a cute set. It is so cute. Wait, th this is not even the cutest part, you guys. 
I haven't even got to that. We're getting there. So I think that's pretty good. Maybe I want, no, I want the other color. So I'm going to put up the Mary Merlot. I will have you clean this because I'm going to use one more of the petal pink. I'm going to, while he's doing that, I'm going to keep going. There's so much that you can do. This is so pretty. This is so user-friendly forgiveness. You just have to play with it a little bit. And I want you to know that the first card that I created like this, this was just out of the gate. It was, it was that easy. So conceptualize foreground, background. Let me have a couple of these stamped off right up here in the front because you would see more of the little, instead of full strength, I've just got them. Let me stand up here. You know what else would be good that I didn't do on the other card? Oh, I just thought of this. Oh, they're saying the camera's too close and it's not giving you detail. Oh, it's not? Yeah, so we need to raise up the camera just a little bit if we can. Right now? Let's see. Uh, you better help me with this. Okay, everyone, since we're doing this at your request, Bill, you need to help me here. Which one? It's this one. Close your eyes if you get dizzy. Okay. Now, tighten it. Is that better, you guys? Is that better? I don't know. We're not there yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. And then one more right here. Full strength with the petal pink. I just Hi, Barb. felt like that was a little bare. So now that I've moved back a little, does that help you guys? Awesome. It looks better now. So. I'm going to do just a few more of these. I like them. I love how fun the stamp set is. All right. Now you can, oops. Thanks for watching that, Bill. Yeah. You know, now I'm gonna do one of these bigger ones right back there. I love it. I'll be honest. Okay. While I've got my stamps out, I'm going to, this is one of those cards where I'm going to embellish envelopes. I don't usually do this, you guys, just because I figure once you get this down, but I really like this one, and tonight's winner, I think, would like it. So I'm going to ink it up in the terracotta tile, stamp it off, and I'm going to stamp it in this corner of my envelope. And I should have looked. Yeah, whew, I had it on the right side. And then I'm going to take um, the Garden Green again, because that's what I used the last time. And this little stamp, of course, stamp it off and just kind of ground it here. So we've got kind of a matching envelope. But wait, this card is not done stamped backwards. And I'll hand you these. Oh, he's cleaning them for me. Look at you. Just put them in there when you're done. Okay, so that's okay. So we've got that. So we have a nice matching envelope. I'm going to take some Wink Estella because this is my little Bob Ross piece, right? Let's do, this is a clear wink of Stella, and I'm just gonna do a little fine shimmer on the water. Isn't that awesome? It is. I just love it. I know you guys probably can't see it as well. Yeah. But I will stand up here so that you can see this. Don't know if the shimmer comes off or not. But so, okay, so here's my stamping. I told you there was a lot of stamping, but there's still more. You wanna show them the stamping? There's a big old basket. Yeah, show, let's show them. Hmm. Now you do not, you can use one stamp at a time. You don't, this is what you call cleaning stamps. No. This is what he calls cleaning stamps, no. guys. 
Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, there's a whole bunch. I still have two more though. <gasps> I know. But we're gonna start with I'm gonna I'm gonna stamp on the inside of this in just my memento ink. And then the reason I don't have a card done is because a full card to show you what I was going to do to start with is because I'm going to have you guys tell me which way you like it. So I really wanted, because of what my scene looks like, I really wanted to use this Flowers Are Friends in the Garden of Life stamp so bad. So this is from a big thank you. This is in our annual catalog, not the mini. But we're going to stamp this on the opposite side of what you're used to, <coughs> right in the middle. And yes, I'm aware. <laughs> that I've stamped it wrong because here is the big reveal. You don't have to clean that if you don't want to. So I have the card base and I chose the terracotta tile because I think that it is absolutely gorgeous um, with the terracotta tile and the colors that I chose. And actually these colors came right off of our color coach. I went ahead folded this into the card base and then I took our um, layered ovals die this is the largest non scalloped oval and I went ran it through the big shot and it comes out like this so it comes out like this because when you put the card in there right so the cards now gonna open this way and it's got the little glitter and then it's going to open this way now does that make more sense yeah let's, i hope so let's see if it gets to you guys and it makes more sense and while we're waiting to see if it makes more sense i'm going to go ahead and glue this down to the inside of my card that's why i cut this paper are you going to wait to see which one they want oh i was going to wait um i gotta wait and see if they see that yet are you up to that point? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to go on and show them the other option. So another option that I did was I used our chalk. We have a, a Stampin' Chalk marker in white. These are like 350, you guys. And I, I'm, love it. Gorgeous. I made little doodle dots around the edge, and I stamped friend since this is a friend card. And I haven't decorated it yet, but I want to know which ones that you guys like better just the plain so let me get it's unusual not unusual 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 mm -hmm. uh i don't know what Somebody to do said. i think i'm just gonna do this because i've got this glue on here and mm -hmm. um i will show <laughs> them i will show them with another card because i have more than one of these because i couldn't make one Okay, so now that stuff is kind of dried, okay, and I got it on my hand. All right, so glue that down. Oh, I love it, I love it. So it opens like this and like this. Yeah. Now, let me take, I'm going to grab Good one. one Janet Rose, folks. She did? Okay, well, let me just show you. Here's the difference. So here's the other one. We're still not done with the card. Doodle to non-doodle. Let's take a vote. The dots are, seem to be winning. The dots are winning? Mm hmm Really? I thought maybe the non-dots would, but okay. The dots will win. So I'll go ahead and decorate this one then because the winner will get this. So let's glue this down. I should have had one. Completely made. Yeah, I thought With for dots. sure. Yeah, a lot of dots. I, mean, I haven't seen Oh, dots. okay. So how I did the doodle dots is, I'll show you here in just a second. Let's get this one glued in first. This is my own design, Bill. I know that. Um, one comment is, the plane without the dots won't distract from the sea. That was my thought. Mm. So, I don't know. I guess that it's... Gene from North Dakota. That's right. I like Gene. 
because it was the other gene who told me the doodle dots added to it. So, <laughs> and I was like, I don't know. I think I'm going to let everyone pick, but I'll have one each way now. So I'm going to go ahead and see my sample didn't have the, I, I definitely like the Claire Wink Estella on there because I think it adds that little bit of shimmer. Okay, so this is the doodle dot. So we're going to decorate the doodle dot since there were so many doodle dots. I'm decorating it. I'm going to use the trinket leaves that is in our annual catalog. This is not in the mini catalog. And I'm going to use the one that has the three leaves on it in the copper color. And we'll just put this right down here. And I'm going to do one with the other copper that's just the single leaf and we're gonna glue it on with a glue dot like so and then in the new mini catalog we have the country club twine combo pack now I'm not a golfer but I loved the twine it comes with four colors and one of them is garden green yay so we're gonna make a little bow. And you kind of have to fuss with it a little bit. My fingers are all inky. Do you think Bob Ross got paint all over him? <laughs> I tend to get ink all over me. People are like, pick me, pick me, pick me. <laughs> <laughs> For what? The drawing. Oh, well, um, you get it by whoever... Well, whoever I pick out of the box. Yeah, but it was from last week. Last you watch week last week so and, gotta, and share my video. Share this week for next week's prize. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to trim that off, and I don't know how long I'm going to want that, but I'm going to attach it with a glue dot. Just kind of right on top of here. Isn't that just sweet as can be? And I think, so this one already has it. I'm just going to trim that down a little bit more. Oh, so stinking cute. Now I know this was long. So here we go. You open it up, it says friend. That stamp acts from that same a big thank you, mm -hmm. which is in the annual catalog. Then you have the beautiful picture, and you have plenty of room to write. I love that. So with the matching envelope. What do you guys think? Awesome. You like it? I'm so glad. I was actually kind of nervous about um, this card. I didn't know if it would be too long, so I didn't schedule two cards. I normally do two. I tend to be a fast stamper, and I've had some people ask for some things that would be like an avid stamper. Um, I do want to let you know, most of the times I do kind of cater to a newer stamp so that they don't feel overwhelmed. Oh, I need all these ink colors. Oh, I need all of this. Because, um, you know, stamping really is about the fun and joy of just putting ink to paper. That is one of the reasons I did like this, because technically you could put a sentiment on this, obviously having it facing the right way, and um, send this card too with just ink, stamp, and paper. I guess I got Wink Stella on there now, but... Oh, very little to it. Oh, it. Good. And I will, I'm going to remember to, fun fold. it is, it is a fun little card, you know, um, gives it kind of, it's a homemade Hallmark feel, right? Because it's got the no, it's fold. Pammy Ross, now I'm married to somebody else. <laughs> so um, let your creativity shine when you get stuff like this. I'm sure there's a wheelbarrow in here. Um, there's single trees. I could have done a tree in the foreground, but I really kind of wanted to put the um, gazebo and the bridge in the forefront. So anything else, Bill? Oh, the drawing, the drawing. <laughs> drawing time. Drawing. Okay, give me the thing. You guys were so wonderful sharing last week. I really do appreciate that. I want you to know if you share, um, if your settings are set where I can't see that you shared, um, I'm not going to be able to pick you for the drawing. But there was a lot of you. So, got it in our little ticket booth. We're going to mix it up. Okay, so for the first drawing, 
How do you say it? Ockers. Ockers. Julie Ockers. Julie, thanks so much for sharing my video. Um, I am not familiar with you. I don't have your address, so I am going to need you to send me your um, address via messenger, or you can email at me at Pamela at Piccadilly dot com. And you ready for the next one? Yep, let's do another one. Okay. I've got a Linda Knight Brady. Ooh, Linda Knight Brady. Okay, Linda, I have for you one of our, um, I made some of these 2020 calendars. So I will be sending that to you. Linda, I don't, I don't have your address either. So if you could send that to me um, so that I could get this to you, I would appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching me tonight and joining in. Um, tune back in next week. Same Linda, bat channel. Linda same. Yay! Oh, yay! Good. <laughs> All right. Have a great evening. Take care. Bye-bye.